Hmm. Now what the hell could this be? Well, I know it's around, but say it looks kind of like a yeah. no. Too big to be a 22 short, but it's got a rim, so it can't be a 32 auto. Well, this right here is called the 32 Smith & Wesson. Basically, this is sort of like the 22 Shorts big center fire brother. Um, not very powerful, but it will kill. Uh, this round was uh, developed by Smith & Wesson as a more powerful uh, version of the 22 short and um, hell not that much more powerful but it does fire a 32 caliber uh, bullet 88 grains under I believe it was, um, it was I think uh, 8 grains of powder was the factory load and that was black powder back in the day but uh, about about 360 feet per second was the standard muzzle velocity I feel as I compact my powder a little bit, so I feel as though I'm getting a little bit more. Um, but the 32 is really a neat round. For this test, we're going to be firing a 32 Smith and Wesson short into a uh, a few uh, boards that are made of uh, what I believe to be cedar, and uh, we're going to test how this penetrates. Guns we or the gun we will be using is a Thayer Robertson and Carry break top, and it is chambered in the 32 Smith and Wesson five shot, um, pretty accurate little pocket pistol, but um, it's a uh, top break design, so that means you pull lift this little thing up and. Uh, it uh, swings open but I'll quit uh, rambling here and I'm going to uh, show you uh, another 32 um, now I was originally going to use this for the test but see those bullets they make a funny noise when they tip over you know <laughs> Uh, but I was uh, originally going to use this uh, Ivor Johnson American Bulldog in 32 Smith & Wesson. Now this uh, thing about this is with um, flat nose 32 Smith & Wesson longs, they will chamber and they will fire just fine. You know, you can clear the uh, forcing cone. Or cylinder gap, no problem. But uh, yeah. okay, sorry there. I had to get that live round of ammo out of there. But uh, as you can see right here, we're unloaded. Um, but yeah, we're gonna shoot it out of uh, this this bullet out of this Thayer Robertson and Carey pocket pistol. Oh, this is a single or double action, so, you know, you can fire it single action, or you can fire it double action. Single action is pretty accurate, though. Um, <clears throat> and you can decock it if you just trip the sear and uh, bring the uh, trigger forward. So, I'll shut up, and I'll get that get those boards set up and uh, stick a uh, Birchwood Casey shoot and see on there and uh, I'll try and do this and uh, see if I can get the muzzle flash and all that um, in so uh, get ready guys alright <clears throat> so we have our uh, plank so my knob a little bit damp. Another one, ignore these bullet holes. Um, right there. So that means I gotta shoot out. Alright, 
right, so we got the board set up. Put that other one back there. And a box of paper and shit to stop it. In the unlikely event, it makes its way through uh, all three boards. So, let's get ready here. All right, we have our 32. And we are ready to go. Let's test this sucker. All right, everybody got their eyes and ears on? Break it open. Kick out the brass. Let's see how well we did. All right, guys. So, bullet entered right there. And I kind of jerked this one and flinched. I was aiming dead center. But, uh, I don't know. I just flinched or something. And these uh, 98 grain bullets. Oh, I recovered it, by the way. These 98 grain bullets kind of have a bit of jump to them as opposed to like 75 or 88 grain bullets. But this was at one point a Magtech lead round nose. And it penetrated here, um, went completely through. Hit right there exited and uh, didn't even dent the, thir the third one but I recovered the slug look at that so this ain't much but it could be lethal bullets are bullets so here's the slug you guys want to get a better look at it right there next to the brass right there well that's um that concludes our uh, video damn this gun is shining that concludes our uh, video, and I am going to do a uh, review of this revolver and kind of a video of it. But, um, yeah, I like it a lot. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, take it easy. Bye, guys.